Hello, welcome back to the Educational Technology Tutorials. Uh, my name is David Shiner, and uh, today's tutorial is going to be on uh, using Schoolloop. And what Schoolloop is, is a nice tool uh, that teachers can use to organize uh, classrooms and for grading and tracking students' progress. Uh, our school uses it as their home page for their website. Uh, so it has a lot of different information on home, administration, departments, programs, activities, and each one has different links to these different, uh, different pages. So we have an activities page. Uh, we have a departments page, career technical education, this is my department. Um, so you know we have each, each, each department has their own page set up under school loop. Administration has their mission statement on here. But really the main focus of this tutorial is going to be how to use this to better our students. And the easiest way of doing this is going to my portal up across the top here. And we go to my portal, it brings you to your school grade book. As you can see here, I have my different grade books here, Industrial Tech Core. So go ahead and click on that. And we have different assignments here. I have a locker where I can keep some important information such as parent letter and syllabus. Uh, if I click on that, it'll open up my, my syllabus I use in the classroom. I'm going to go back real quick because if I go here to grade book on this side, this will actually bring up the actual grade book itself. So as you can see here, I have my periods one, two, three, four, five, six. But really where you have to do your work is under grade book tools. So if I click on Gradebook Tools, it gives me Manage Gradebooks. So I can go in and I can manage my gradebook. I have two different gradebooks here for two different semesters. So here's my first semester, here's my second semester. I can also publish reports from here. So I click on Reports. I can then go to my different gradebooks. I'm going to click on Period 1. And it'll send me out a report on Period 1 and it organizes it based on their different assignments. So you have with the wiki check flyer. As you can see, it's, this is just uh, a few weeks into the semester, so there's a lot more assignments going to be added as we go through this. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. But as you can see, it's a great way of just printing out um, your gradebook uh, for grades. Let me go ahead and close this out. And I'm going to go back to more gradebook tools. As you can see, you can also set up seating charts, period one. And you can actually create a layout in columns and rows. So I'm going to go ahead and go add create grid of seats. And it allows me to create seats where I can actually type in and put information in here. So I'm going to go ahead and go to students. And you can actually then just drag and drop students into the different sections or different areas that uh, where they're seating. So you can create and do your seating chart this way. So, and once you get this done, you can go and save seat assignments. Now I'm just going to go ahead and reset students. I was just showing you how you can actually create a seating chart using School Loop. So I'm going to go ahead and go back. And another thing under gradebook tools you have is you can do transfer grades, drop a low score, restore saved grades. Again, go down to reports and download gradebook. I'm going to go to download gradebook real quick. And I'm going to go download Gradebook Industrial Tech Core. You can actually open it up in Microsoft Excel or save the file. Just go ahead and hit OK for now just to show you how it, how it appears in Excel. So you can see it's loading right now. And it imports it into an Excel spreadsheet. Now it's pretty messy. Um, grades are missing. I don't use this option too much. Uh, I just use the basic gradebook features that they have here. So I'm going to show you that one more time. I go to my current gradebooks. And I actually just usually print from this area here where I can actually go in and see their grades. I can actually choose a student, for example, and it'll bring up just that student's grades over here. And it shows the grades. They still need the input um, into their actual grade here. I'm going to go back out here again and go back to the tracking system. So I'm going to go back to my portal. And one of the best benefits of using School Loop is to track students' grades. So as you can see here, the SCM football team has a tracking system specifically for all the football players. And that way the coach here can go very quickly and easily and check out the different grades of all the different players on the teams. Uh, it's a great way of 
um, of monitoring your students, or if you're a coach or a club advisor, monitoring your, um, you know, your your players or your club advisors. So I'm going to go back one more time here. I'm going to show you how to set up a tracking system for your grades. So if I go right up here, student tracker, and if I go create new, I could go and click on, let's say, uh, third. Third progress reports. And I can get all the different students that I that are struggling and maybe f currently failing. I could put them in this progress report so I could follow just the students that are right now failing my class. And that way I can make sure I'm monitoring them to get their grades up before the school year ends. So you can just put that in their description. Um, report of current students failing and we're just trying to get them to get those grades up but it's a way that I can now follow my students so I'm gonna go back to over here and find that there it is third report I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and as you can see here I got no members in here right now I would go to add members and I could add members that are failing my class. So I would go in there and click on the students, and I could add them in there. So I'm just going to click on a student just for right now. You know, if I had my grade book printed out, I could just go ahead and click, 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 and go to add. And it would add those students in there. Now on, on here, there's only one of those students is actually currently failing. But as you can see, I've added members in here uh, where I can now follow their grades. So that is how you would create a tracking system so you could track different students. I'm going to go ahead and erase that at a later time. But as you can see, you can always add members, edit tracker, view all trackers again, delete tracker. So I'm going to go ahead and delete and hit delete on this particular example here. Uh, but that is one of the best features that this does offer. One of the other things too here, if I go to my gradebook again, and if I go ahead and add grades to this, so for example, let's say on my blog check here, I'm going to go ahead and just add some grades real fast. Um, so I'm going to auto fill it. And if you notice up here, it says save and save or publish. I'm going to go ahead and publish. And the nice thing about this is when I publish my grades, I can publish and notify. And what that does again, it will go ahead and send an email out with the message that you put in here. And it'll send to parents and to uh, students that are registered under School Loop, and they will receive a message saying that your grade is currently falling or that your grade is increasing. So it's another great way of sending notifications out to parents and to students that are following their grades online. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that right now. There's nothing there to set up. Um, if I go ahead and let's do this first, publish real quick so you guys can see. I need to go ahead and click on that one here. Now I'm going to go publish and notify. And again, I'm going to hit submit. And that will send out, send out a message to those students. Um, so again, another great way of monitoring your students. And if we take a look at the top, another great thing here is adding assignments. If I add an assignment here to this, I'm going to go ahead and add an architectural assignment that we're working on right now in class. I'm going to put the due date as May 2nd. Uh, sign date will be for today. Points, let's say 25. Assignment, it's going to be a project. Uh, publishing calendars and grade books. I always like to do that so it shows up on my calendar. You can even set up alerts too, test alert, assignment alert, call the day before it's due. Another great thing to do. Title, I'm going to go ahead and just put architecture, worksheet. I can even add, some, add a message in here, uh, complete worksheet uh, using chapter 5 or chapter 4. And then I can go ahead and hit publish. And then it'll basically add this to all your students' uh, calendars as well. So I'm going to go back to my portal here. And if I go down to my calendar, you'll notice here on Friday, Industrial Tech Core Architecture Worksheets do. So your students should also see that on their end. So the, all students will see on their calendars all the different assignments they have due. 
Um, again, there's also things you can set up here under uh, current assignment. So as you can see, this is the current assignment. It says it's new. Again, we have our calendar. And then we have some other news that you can always add to this as well. So if you had some, maybe a, 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 an activity, or we actually have a, a CTA fair coming up. So I'm going to go ahead and add that real fast. Add. And I'm going to do CTE fair. And then I would go ahead and put the date of that. That's going to be March 24th. Or I'm sorry, March 22nd. Uh, expires 20 seconds go ahead and put information in there I need to do and I would go ahead and hit publish and it would add it to wherever I need to add it so notice my audience here your personal website sci up uh, parents so you can basically put these on all the different groups that you like to, like for that uh, you know news to be published to and I would just hit publish here so that is just some uh, some features that School Loop offers teachers. Um, again, they've got the tracking, got your calendars, you got your grade book, um, but it's a very successful program if students use it correctly. Thank you.